please welcome our friend Chris Harrison. Yay. Bring right. her home to us. <laughs> so, so what happened there, Chris? For uh, the, man, it was hot in the outback. <laughs> Hot and we did not hydrate, and that's what happens. Hydrate. Let me ask you uh, this. No, this was a, uh, as, I, as I can really only paint now, the season starts tonight. After all the trials and tribulations, it really does start tonight. It is a whole new ball of wax now. What are we down to, the final three? Yes. The final yeah. three tonight. When something like that happens, are you close by or do they have to go get you? Because I love when you just appear. There's <laughs> no way to be close by there. I mean, we were out in the outback. So do you get like a... So a, you have to be there. So like I was there. Like a 911 call. Oh, okay. Yes. No, I was there. Uh, we were ready to go, and, and that's towards the end, um, clearly. Uh, and so I, then we got this news that will kind of shape... What happens? Maybe shape the rest of his life. So, so Chris, what was up with that picture that you posted with you, Pilot Pete, and that producer that he's now dating? Listen, what's let's get the, to you mean that. trolling bachelor what, nation. What's the uh, what's the inside scoop there? Are, is it? Uh, Kid and I like trolling? to call that breadcrumbing. <laughs> <laughs> we just learned a new term. Um, yeah, we just learned a new hip turn. Uh, no, actually, I didn't mean to do anything other than the fact that we spend a lot of time together. We travel the world together. Julie, an amazing, talented, smart producer that works for us works on the show so she's with Peter and she's with all of us but is she with relationships him develop. is she with him I'll with just him. say this it's an intimate relationship you spend that much time together we all get close that's Some, a resounding yes kid. sometimes, right? resounding but here's sometimes the thing. those lines get blurred hey. there's been a couple of times right. on this season there was one guy named Putz who fell in love with the contestant he was a sound guy yeah and when he got caught do y'all remember this home he yeah, jumped he over the balcony that broke his leg. Yeah. this guy Look at Pugs. broke his leg. Ryan. Yes. Boy, he broke both legs. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he broke both legs? Yes. He jumped off a second story oh balcony God. because we were coming in the room. He was about to be discovered and he didn't want to get fired. By the way, no <laughs> job is worth jumping off a second Not story building. Both your legs. Right. But wait, here's oh the best God. thing about oh, wow. The Bachelor. The Poor Bachelor putts. did a reenactment and it was like over the balcony he goes. I did this crazy That's like hilarious. 70 old school network news reenactment. <laughs> that was all me. I, I dove into that. So yeah, that was great. great. That is so funny. But it is, you know, you do, you do spend a lot of time with the crew you and the yes. rest proximities. I mean, even yourself, you're a single guy. Would it be against the rules if for some reason a girl that was no longer uh, like, let's question. say, that didn't get a rose, couldn't you, the only rules theoretically? Are, the only rules are Peter needs to have the best opportunity to find love or whoever right. the bachelor or bachelorette is. If something w were to mess that up, um, then we would try to step in and we would help. Like back in the day, there was a girl named Rosalind who had a very inappropriate relationship with oh, one of yeah. our Oh, yeah. You let her go. You made her leave. Yeah, and, and it was right before, it was in the middle of Jake Pavelka's season. Jake, and, uh, angry Jake. That angry was a fun angry one. Jake. <laughs> also, by the way, ironically, also a, a pilot. pilot. <laughs> Maybe it's a pilot thing. <laughs> well, Do you right. have a, not a favorite. Let's go this. Who's been the most disappointing bachelor? Well, or bachelorette. I mean, I think most people would think, oh, it was Juan Pablo or it was oh, whatever. Oh, he was great. But that, to me, uh, thank you, because that was good TV. And I think it was compelling and interesting TV, although maybe not the best bachelor. No. I wouldn't want him dating my daughter. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it was, I think you go back to like Lorenzo Borghese, not a great season. Uh, yeah, Charlie O'Connell and I didn't exactly get along very well. Super good guy. We just were like oil and water. He's a kind of an East Coast guy. I'm not. And you didn't get along with him? No. That's Jerry O'Connell's brother? Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. Oh, do you know this girl? <laughs> yeah. I never heard this. No, but I know. <laughs> I never knew that there was. About there's that. this guy I named Jerry O'Connell, Mario. I don't know how long yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're new to LA and Hollywood. Yeah, right. but, uh, exactly. I didn't know. I forgot about that's, this either. Your funny. kids are teenagers. My yes. daughter is like, we can't wait. Yeah, we're, we're about like, the same what, age. Yes. Our, our what kids. do they think about you hosting this? Do they laugh? Do they come to, you know, it's, the I, you know, it's kind of like my life. They ebb and flow. They come in and out of it. Like for a while, yeah. they were kind of into it. And as you know, I mean, all, obviously, all of, our, all of us are parents. There is nothing you will do as a parent that's cool, ever, <laughs> like, ever. Um, and that's just the way it is. Like, dad hosts The Bachelor. He has, I've hosted their entire lives. Right. My son was. Six weeks old when I got the job. It's been 18 years, you know, as our kids Literally are about to head off to. Life. Yeah, yeah, and so, and my daughter is 16, and so that's that's just her life. Well, I think this is cool. This volcano yes. live event that you're you're hosting with uh, yeah. one of the Walendas, isn't Nick it? Nick Walenda. Uh, this is his highest, longest, scariest, craziest. This, uh -uh. That is the Messiah volcano in Nicaragua. Oh where my God! Live yep. So on he March falls 4th. in lava. No, he's <laughs> no, I'm saying if he falls, yeah, yeah. he's going into he's, lava. Yeah. Good point. Yes, he could. <laughs> Hopefully, he will not. No, yeah. but if he falls, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's what makes it cool. There is a lo a real lava yeah. pool below him. This is an active volcano. He's walking over. If you put two wine corks I'm together, that's yeah. what he's walking on over oh, toxic wow. gas, lava. Oh. 
He has to wear a mask. You saw at the very beginning yeah. of that he's wearing a mask for the talk so he doesn't pass out. Wow. And he knows he could go blind, so he, there's toxic fumes. So he's practiced this blindfolded I'm nervous. Oh, just no, in that's case. Crazy. That's what crazy. if you gave him a rose and his beloved was on the other side? Combine your two shows. He has a love. <laughs> but this is in his family. This is generations yeah. of, generations, of, of yes. I grew up on the Walindas. So sure. this is such Blind a huge Walindas. Hunt. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. they are generations of Walindas that have, have come before. He lost his great grandfather in a tragic yeah. accident in 1978. So remember that. this is real. I mean, this really yeah. is that dangerous. Volcano's next level, though. Come on. Yeah. Wild. And this like show crazy. is live. I can't wait to watch it. Live but on ABC yeah. March 4th. What happens if something goes wrong then you we, know what we cover we it. have a front row seat oh, I mean God. Uh, fortunately enough I have I have a journalism background I you know I cut my teeth in news I cut my teeth in, in real sports and so we're prepared for it obviously we pray that doesn't happen but this is the risk he's taking this is it that's what wow. makes it uh, so worthwhile exciting. to watch dun 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 oh. so meanwhile Chris Harrison don't forget everybody. to catch Chris on Volcano Live with Nick Walenda on March 4th tell the kiddos hello